Joseph and Laura Mogizel. Here is the story of a man and a woman who met at 17 and will not part from each other ever again. On May 29, 1947, students are protesting against electoral frauds. When the police attack, Joseph is seriously injured. Among the activists who visited him in hospital was Lore. They'll stay together for almost 50 years. Together at law school. Together to launch the Lebanese Democratic Party. Together to establish the Lebanese Association for Human Rights. Together to advocate for women's rights. Together to call for peace during the grimmest days of Lebanon's history. For 50 years, they'll strive for secularism and democracy in Lebanon, in that part of the world undermined by dictatorship and religious bigotry. They struggled for citizens from different creeds to live together in harmony, and genders as well. Lebanese legislation discriminates against women. Lore becomes an impassioned advocate of the battle for equality. That's how between 1953 and 1996, women gained the right to vote, the right to travel without the written consent of their husbands, the right to use birth control, the right to be a legal witness, and the ratification by Lebanon of the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. But reforming legislation is not enough. A body of law is valuable only if it is implemented. As a consequence, Lore sets up legal advice centers for women to know their rights. In 1996, she was elected as member of the United Nations Human Rights Committee. Love stories are private and intimate, but this one is intricately woven into the fabric of a country. In Lebanon, people consider themselves as Muslim or Christian before being citizen. How to overcome this predicament and build a country? Joseph played an important role in forging a secular Arabic identity. He initiated in 1972 the Democratic Party, along with Lore and other activists from all religious groups. Together in the midst of civil war, Joseph and Lore tirelessly organized protests against violence. In 1978, they campaigned for Christians and Muslims alike to donate their blood and gather on Beirut's partition line to exchange the blood bags as tokens of brotherhood. In 1980, they organized a march crossing Lebanon from north to south to demand the cessation of the fighting. This march will never be forgotten. No one before has ever seen militiamen putting down their weapons at the sight of thousands of protesters calling for peace. Together for human rights, no matter if they are going against the current of events taking place in the Arab world, even if they are a handful to believe in it. In 1989, Joseph succeeded in having Parliament include in the preamble of the new Constitution of Lebanon the commitment to comply with the principles of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Once he was elected as Member of Parliament, he founded the Parliamentary Commission for Human Rights. Today, their names can be found at the bend of a street, a square, a park, a school, and countless other places. Her for struggling for women's rights, him for secularism and democracy. Together as one, in the name of collective good, in the name of human rights.